Hi everyone, my name is Evgenia Martinova and I'm excited to present a new method to analyze spatial point patterns. A point pattern is just a set of points in space and many real-world objects can be represented as point patterns, like this image of a cancer biopsy where immune cells are attacking the tumor. In this and other fields, the researchers might want to know if the objects they study are clustered, if the positions are random, or if they even avoid each other, and if the objects are clustered or dispersed, to what extent? Ripley's k-function central and spatial statistics counts the expected number of neighbors of a point at different distances. To detect deviation from spatial randomness, it can be compared to its expectation for a random arrangement of points. Higher value of k-function indicate clustering. However, simply detecting clustering does not tell us much about the spatial structure. Look at the single cluster, which is much denser than our example point pattern. K-function fails to capture this difference in a meaningful way, because it is not bounded from above. This means that there is no maximum value necessary for the intuitive interpretation of the K-function. To address this, we designed a new function that behaves like a correlation coefficient for point patterns. First, we propose the definitions of maximal dispersion and clustering of points, and we designed our local correlation function to output minus 1 for maximal dispersion, 0 for spatial randomness, and 1 for maximal clustering. In essence, the local correlation function is a transformed k-function. The main advantage of our function is that its value can be interpreted as a degree of clustering between objects. We encourage researchers in different fields to try the local correlation function for spatial analysis. 